how does Uber driver app actually give you rides? As in, how does the system dispatch you your next trip request? All this and more as we discuss on today's video. So what exactly is the dispatch system? How do you get rides? Well, it's an algorithm based dispatch system. So what's an algorithm? It's essentially from what I know, a set of instructions written in computer code, AKA no humans. This is all software based, all computer based. A robot is giving you trips, but don't hear it from me. Hear it from one of our exclusive Gridwise data scientists. I want to bring on our very own data scientist and in-house algorithms expert. From Gridwise, welcome everybody. This is our data scientist, Abrar. Uh, hey, Jenda. Uh, Thanks for doing, doing this, man. Pretty good. Just want to tell all the Gridwisers out there what an algorithm is. I mean, I can explain it, but I figured let's ask the expert. What's yeah. an algorithm? Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, when you think of an algorithm, you don't want to think about it, uh, you know, specific, specifically in the perspective of mathematics and computer science, right? And in that field, you would think of it as their finite sequence of uh, commands that you want to be able to execute in terms of computer instruction, just so that it can carry out a set of uh, calculations or problem solving tasks. That's basically what it is. But as you can see, it's subjective. And so it is, it, it respects the, the biases of somebody who's programming it, who's, who's, writing these instructions down in the form of like programs or code. So would you say that an algorithm is just a, a way for a computer program to make decisions? Yeah, absolutely. It is definitely an instruction set. I mean, it's supposed to be well-defined. Yeah, it's, it's if you have this act, uh, action, what, do you, what are you supposed to do? That's, that's really what you're telling the computer. That's awesome. Now, in terms of how these our, our driver population, what we want to know about algorithms is why would Uber even implement an algorithm in the first place to dispatch rides, in your professional opinion? Right. Um, to answer this, really, we would have to see what the, the logic behind uh, this kind of uh, company is, right? And initially, you'd, you'd, you'd if you if you look at a taxi for example you call in and the dispatcher is making these decisions and and really in a way the dispatcher is one individual who's tasked to make the call of um so and so location somebody needs a ride please go pick it up you know and and the taxi driver goes and picks the person up and so on and so forth but an algorithm would be able to balance that in mass in terms of how many drivers are on the street on on the roads and how many people want rides and really that's one of the advantages because i think it makes use of market dynamics to have to try to balance the supply and demand and really that is where the power of their algorithm seems to be but of course there are a lot of other things that can be coded in and uh, yeah uh, yeah and i see why people would want access to to it so it sounds like it's just a system built in place to make uber the most money automatically with as much well, automation as possible well i i like i said you know that's that's the whole proprietary aspect of the algorithm like mm -hmm. that's not a question that i can answer because i do not have access either to their <laughs> algorithm so but, let me ask you this what are the what are the chances that you think uber would be willing to disclose anything about their proprietary algorithm and the data sets that power it. Yeah, that for sure it would be, it is going to be highly difficult to get access to that because I do believe that that is what is their biggest power. You know, that's, that's what gives them uh, the market strength that they have. Um, and it's, it's going to be an interesting C it's it's going to be interesting to see how how they battle it out and uh, and what is a an end result of all of this. So sure. if you have one thing that you can tell our drivers who are wondering about algorithmic based management systems, um, is there a way to cheat the system in your professional opinion to make yourself more money? Uh, download Gridwise. We're here to we're here to show you guys well uh, the the best of the landscape. 
based on all of the data learnings that we ourselves have. That is a beautiful answer, non-scripted, of course. Thanks, Abrar, our data scientist at Gridwise. Yeah, thanks. All right, thank you. that was awesome. Thank you for explaining to us what an algorithm is essentially. So what do we currently know about Uber's algorithm or system of commands for their computer dispatch system? Well, I read before someone deleted this on the subreddit like over six months, eight months ago, former Uber employees saying that the algorithm essentially the role is to match the quickest ride for the, the paying customer. Now, why is that important? You might think, well, you know, who cares about maximizing wait time for passengers? Well, over the long run and over a vast population of paying customers, we're talking millions of people, right, around the world requesting Uber trips a day back in the day. And you can think of this mattering for delivery as well. The faster you get your service, the more likely you are to use it again. Therefore, your higher chances of paying more money back into Uber. So all the algorithm does, the dispatch system wants to do is to match the fastest, to give the greatest satisfaction in the quickest amount of time to the paying customer because the paying customer will generate more money and more revenue for the company, right? Why else would the business exist? They're making money. That's what essentially what the algorithm does. But there's a lot of things that's going on in the background that well, we don't know. And according to an article posted on The Guardian in the UK, Apparently, Uber systems tags your driver profile with certain tags, such as unsafe driving, how many reports, like police risk. All of these tags you can imagine are, are, are attributed to you based off of driving feedback and user passenger feedback, right? So not only do the star rating matter, you know, what the passenger says matters too, right? And if it's confirmed or not, right, guys, it makes total sense to, in my mind, at, at least. So you have this system that also collects data on you that, that every time you turn on the driver app, it collects data. When you drive, where you drive, how long you drive for, are you a kind of driver that does gig work in, in quick bursts or are you type of driver that does it in long shifts, right? And all of this information that's hidden and not provided to you forms this sort of virtual profile about who you are psychologically as a gig worker. And they use this along with their to feed it into their algorithm systems to essentially maximize your revenue for them. Now, I want to clarify, not maximize your revenue for you, but maximize your revenue for them. Now, some of you might think, well, hey, Jay, that's like counterintuitive. What, why not maximize my revenue? The more money I make, the more money they make. Well, not, well, yes, but not over the long run, not over a huge population of drivers, right? Because once you get away from this microscopic scale and you look at the greater picture, things are a little wonky. Now, for those scientists out there, this is akin to quantum mechanics versus uh, classical mechanics. Just completely incomparable because of the scale, the sheer scale of the difference between the two. So why do we want to know more about this algorithm? The reason why, guys, is because it directly impacts your earnings. Again, the algorithm is there to ensure maximum profit across the board for all of their, for their revenue, for the company. In this case, Uber we're talking about, but you can apply this to DoorDash, Instacart, Postmates. All of these companies are doing the same thing, algorithm-based and data collection to make them the most money. When that impacts their, what impacts their revenue does not impact your revenue. So it's important because if you want to make the most money, you have to be free and transparent in knowing exactly what's going on in the background. The more information you know, the more knowledge you know about how a system works, the more you can apply that to your own strategy. And this is it, guys, the most important part, your own decision making. You can't make valid and good decisions for your own business and your own wallet if you don't have all pieces of the puzzle, right? If you don't know what's being done in the background, if you don't know what they're using when they collect, and even what they're collecting from you, how can you make a valid and, and good business decision? whether to drive today, whether to stop driving today, whether to continue driving in the future, whether to invest time elsewhere instead of hustling hour after hour, shift after shift with no idea what's going on, whether to instead cut that time down and invest the rest of the time into something else, such as a career move or a change. Guys, please take this bit of information that I, I'm giving you right now as something that 
opens your eyes and allows you to critically think about how you can eat, make more money with your own strategy and decision making. And also if you need to apply your time elsewhere to make more money. The quickest and easiest and dirtiest way to make more money, and I'm not just saying this because I work at Gridwise, is to download Gridwise. Why? Because it costs you nothing. It's free. And it helps you track your expenses across all of your earnings, all of your gig working platforms. So if you do gig work, Instacart deliveries for groceries, parcel deliveries, Amazon Flex, and you do rideshare, you know, uh, time to time here, three things. It doesn't matter. You could track all of your tax deductible miles on the Gridwise app. And then we do all the hard work for you again. And we crunch the numbers and spit out awesome comparisons and graphs. And in addition to this, we're also empowering drivers by building features that involve data, data that, that, that you send us and that we will, again, do the hard work for you, crunch into meaningful insights that you can use to make the best driving decisions. Links in the description below for everything that I mentioned, also to the article below. I hope you enjoyed our data scientist guest cameo today on today's show. And if, again, if you have any questions and you have any insights, and if you agree with me, let me know in the comments below. We read every single comment, me and Brandon. We love it when you guys leave comments on our YouTube videos because it means you're engaging with us and that means the whole world to us. So please make sure you subscribe to the channel, bell notification. And again, once again, this is Jay, and I'll see you on the next one.